We are learning more tonight about a serial predator, a man linked to at least five attacks on Austin women, the crimes dating back to last summer. Tonight, police are combing through the evidence trying to figure out if he's also the man that killed Esme Barrera on New Year's Day. KXAN's Doug Shoup begins tonight's team coverage from the neighborhood where they both lived. Well, Robert, police say a, na a roommate rather found James Brown dead from an apparent suicide inside this apartment building back on January 12th. And these apartments are only a short walk away from where Barrera lived and was killed and where two other women were attacked in the early morning hours of New Year's Day. Police say DNA collected from James Brown's apartment matched DNA from an attack on a woman in her home on East 31st Street. And they say the same DNA matches four other attacks, including an attempted rape where a man approached women from behind, shoved them to the ground, and ran. We were able to tie him into these other assaults, and thus he's a prime suspect in the Esme Barrera case. Uh, we are processing additional DNA evidence, and we hope that in the near future we can uh, close out uh, the, the Case. Which is why police are asking anyone who knew Brown or what he was up to on New Year's or in early January to come forward. There's a good chance that this is a bad guy. Uh, the bottom line is, although we think it's a prime suspect, we're not going to say that uh, this we've solved the case. Uh, but we're hopeful through science and hopefully some additional information that uh, viewers out there might have will be able to bring some final closure. Neighbors who live next door to Esme Barrera are hopeful the person who attacked so close to their home is indeed Brown. That would be good, I, mean, I guess, to have like the definitive reason. But I think it's also, um, I think from here on out, we'll always be a little bit more careful and always carrying our pepper spray and always, you know, <laughs> kind of trying not to stay out late and stuff. So I think um, it's still. Just because the whole situation will always be a little more on guard. Despite the break in the case, there's still sadness among these streets and questions about how a serial predator could hurt women and frighten a community. It sounds like he was a very like disturbed individual. Yeah. Now, police say there is the possibility that Brown sold items to people, but police won't say exactly what those items could be or if they were perhaps stolen from victims' homes. Anyone with any information, though, should call APD right away. The number to call is 477-3588. Live in Central Austin, Doug Shoup, KXAN News.